Hey there, all right, so this is really coming together. In the last section, we got our list of images to display in the browser. But you might have noticed we got a little warning in our console. So actually, this is a warning. It's not an error message, and it says each child should have a unique key prop. And then it also goes on to say the source of this warning is the image list component. So let's talk about what this key thing is and why we're supposed to use it. So right now, we have a list of images. We have rendered this list of images, and we've shown it in the DOM, and it's visible on the screen. And then maybe at some point in time, our user comes along and decides it, well, they need to add one more picture to the list. To do so, we tell React to re-render our application and update our list of images with the incoming new picture. So React is going to take the list of images that we now have rendered as JSX, and it looks at each one of them, which is currently present in the DOM. So React is going to look at each one of the images and compare the current list to the new one. And it takes the new picture that we have added inside the new list and renders it inside the DOM. So it actually appends some new element to the DOM and skips the existing ones. Now, while React is doing this, it is also comparing the existing contents key with the newly rendered contents key. And by this method, React determines the new content and then renders it inside the DOM. And as you guessed, each one of the key values has to be unique. So see, that's the purpose of the key. Now, it's purely a performance consideration, and it's really going to help React to update the lists to be more precise and more uh, performance-oriented. And no, we cannot apply the key for every element. It's only for lists of elements. And then one last little question, how can we determine the different keys for each image? That's a really good question. So let's look at the console and I'm going to open up this image object and it has a lot of properties inside of it. As you might've seen, we have an ID right here. So in this case, this ID is unique for every element of a list. So we're going to use it as a key value. All right, so now let's go back over to our image list component. So here's where we are rendering our list of items. We want to find the root JSX tag that is being returned from our map statement. So in this case, it's the image tag. And I'm going to add a key prop and give it an ID out of this image object. So I'm going to say image.id. I think I mentioned a second ago that, that we're going to add the key property to the root tag that we are returning inside the map statement. What I mean to say is that if we had div that wrapped the image tag like so, in this case, we would add this key property to that div instead of an image. So we only have to assign the key to the root element that we are returning from the list of records. So let's save this and flip back over to the browser. And I'm going to enter cars and see what happens. All right, so we don't have any warning message right now. I say that's success. So quick break right here and we'll continue in the next video.